a bite, have a bite. Mm. These are all our bowls. The pork sushi. It's very enjoyable. Yeah, Bangkok traffic is absolutely terrible today. Terrible. This is it. at the CM Center again, my little sloths, because it's so clean, it has air conditioning, it's beautiful, my and and we want Korean food, I think. We want to do Korean food again. There's my baby. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go look at the Samsung Galaxy. This is my first time ever in a Samsung store. So much cleaner than Apple. You know, Apple's nice too. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jones Orphanage. Okay, this is a locomotive. It looks like a train. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, wow. Here we are at the food court again. Food Republic. And we are probably going to go to the sushi or the Korean restaurant. Japanese or Korean? Which one, little sloths? What are these things? Wow, it's every chair. It says Moonin Cafe. Okay, there's animals in this cafe. <laughs> Okay, we are here in the all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. Yeah. Yeah, you cook it. So pretty. Okay. Okay, so we have to go over there for sushi? Yeah. Sushi doesn't come here? Sushi doesn't come here. Here we are at the all you can eat sushi. And this is the conveyor belt with the soup options. Our water is boiling. And what you do is you wait for one of your favorite ingredients to come down the conveyor belt and you take it and you put it into your soup. So we have chicken broth, I believe. That's our base. You had, um, the options were milk, spicy, or chicken. And we both got chicken. So Orlin's putting in his mushrooms, and you cook it for about three minutes. And it goes. And it goes. Celery. Celery. And then these sushi things. Sushi things. I don't know what they are. Sushi soup. <laughs> My greens to the chicken broth. My mushrooms. Do you guys know what this is? This this chewy thing? I'm pretty That's sure it's like a Naruto. But it's made out of rice. And these are rice noodles. And I love noodles in my soup. Can't have enough noodles for Nikocado avocado. No, so we're gonna add a third. Trust me, this is why we come to the all you can eat buffet. Alright, let's add the noodles. Here we go. And the little rice. Mmm, it's gonna be a great soup. Here's some garlic. I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I love garlicky soup. I'm just gonna add one of those. A little lemon juice. Not that much. And what is this? This is spice, isn't it? Chilies. So we're just gonna add one. 
one chili. Okay, how about two two little chilies? Because I don't want it to be too spicy, you guys. Okay, that's like five chilies. Okay. Five pieces of chilies. How's it going? Delicious. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh yeah. This is so exciting, you guys. Let me see if it's flavorful. There's Orland's soup. Ooh. Pieces of sushi. You know, that rice tastes really good and really nice. Like fishy soup. Seaweed soup. Similar to the green soup we had yesterday. We are off to go get sushi now. So what I'm gonna do is get one of these trays. And this here is my tray. And these here are my options. First we have, oh, they're not labeled. Okay, this happened last time I went to All You Can Eat Sushi. They aren't labeled. I think it depends on the chef. It changes throughout the day. So I have no idea. Oh, that looks like a cucumber, cucumber sushi. This looks like a crab. Yeah, that's crab leg, salmon. This looks really nice. Ooh, a lot of these look really nice. I had this in Vegas, so it's delicious. I, just, I think it's squid. This is the Japanese dumpling, Goza. Goza, guess who's getting a lot of those? It is time to feast. We have tempura, we have the Japanese dumpling fried, we have squid, and all types of stuff. Crab, and octopus, and oh my gosh, spicy stuff. And non-spicy, or maybe that's spicy too, I don't even know. And I have my soup over there, and Orland's got some dumplings, and goiza sauce. Ooh, dumpling. Hey. Hey, how's it going over here? Good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> what are you eating, your soup? Maybe I could use chopsticks, Mmm, was that your sushi? No, uh, mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. All right, baby, let's begin. Here we go. Everyone, grab some food. But if you haven't done so already, we're gonna spend time together eating at the all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. And first up on the list are my dumplings. Dipping them in some sweet sauce right now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys know dumplings are my second favorite food in the whole world. Mm. Do you guys know what this is? What is that? It's like a fermented something. Oh. Cabbage. It's not kimchi though, maybe it's kimchi. Kimchi, yeah. That's not kimchi. I have to try my glass noodle soup, here we go. Very mushroom, mushroomy. See, this is how you make rice noodles taste good. You add a lot of garlic and seasoning, and you put some flavor in there. For me, I put egg and lots of vegetables. Maybe try this. It tastes like a hamburger. Okay, this is Orland's hamburger. <laughs> some type of sushi thing. I think this is pork. If this is the pork sushi. So good. This here is crab and something else. Like a mayonnaise, some kind of mayonnaise sauce. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Okay, I'm gonna try this thing. 
Looks like a looks like SpongeBob SquarePants actually. SpongeBob SquarePants right here. Who lost his pants? And now I'm gonna have a bite. Honey, that is so good. Oh my god. Orlin, Orlin, we have to get your reaction. Try this. What is it? It's like egg sponge. Sponge egg, very sweet. SpongeBob. It's SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, very, very sweet. Oh, fried fish. You really taste the ocean in that one. Very fishy. Good. Mm. So happy. There goes the part. I wish you guys could see, but I don't know how to put the camera, you know? This is the best. What? The, the I haven't tried that yet. Delicious. Tempura, right? Tempura. Mmm. You still see the little shrimp tail. Delicious. Now we're gonna try this. Again, I wish they were labeled. I could tell you what I'm eating. It just tastes so good. Do you have enough over here? Yeah. Here. No, I just asked you. Yeah. I'm eating, yeah. Okay, Orleans, Orleans helping himself. Show them how the shape. Yeah. It's an oval. It's shaped long ways. It's like two sushis put together. Mm. Do you think this is Americanized? Like, it tastes so good. Very creamy, very <laughs> just too, delicious. Too good to be Japanese. Okay, this is what I had with candy in Vegas. It looks like Hot Cheetos, right? The hot che that, that's going around on YouTube. Hot Cheetos Sushi actually did one. A bunch of Insider TV did one. A bunch of like channels are doing that. It looks like Hot Cheetos Sushi. Mm, very good. Now we're gonna try this one. Have a bite, have a bite. Ooh. I'm dipping this one in soy sauce. I haven't been using that much soy sauce right now. That's the thing with sushi. I don't know what I'm eating, but it's all tastes so good. <laughs> Back to the Japanese dumpling. Such good flavors. Yet? No, I haven't. But this, yeah, this looks just like rice and fish. That's it. Rice and fish. Salmon? What is this? Here we go. I'm trying this one. It looks like rice and salmon.
usually when I eat this, it doesn't taste fishy. It tastes sweet, it tastes salty, it tastes very gooey and creamy. You know, it doesn't taste, you know, if you don't like seafood, see, I was a person that grew up and never ate seafood because I don't like the smell, I never like the taste of the ocean. But sushi, if it's prepared like this, usually tastes different. And it's very enjoyable. And we put some sushi onto the squid. can't speak English, the kimchi onto the sushi. <laughs> Look, now you guys can see the conveyor belt. We We ate a lot. These are all our bowls. From the soup, from the sushi. Actually, not the sushi, just, this is just for our soup. I'm gonna go get some water. Cheers with water. You know, I prefer water over every other drink. Always. Okay, Orlin got some sushi for him. What's this? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the thing when you come here, right? You don't yeah. know what, nothing's labeled. You know, so many people are just like, do your research before you go out and get stuff. It's like, well, you, you should also just be able to go and dive right in. It's like learning a new language. Sometimes just move the country and do it. And I'll stop right there because I still can't speak Spanish. Look at the view. Oh my god, that was so good. See the train coming? Here comes the train. This is our view right now from where we're sitting. Siam Paragon. We're at the Siam Center, remember? So this is our view while we're eating our sushi. Amazing. It's like fish, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like try this one. Do that too. So creamy. Take this. the right? Sure. <laughs> this here is fried rice. I feel like I've eaten a lot, but I don't know if I've eaten a lot. Have I eaten a lot? No. Doing a good job over here. I need some more of my soup. Wow. Totally forgot about my soup.
actually gonna go to the nighttime market today. <clears throat> I mean, not the nighttime market, the floating market, which is basically a market in the river. Everything's on boats, so you're shopping on a boat. You're eating pad thai on a boat. It's so cool. I can't wait to bring you guys there. But it said it was like 50% chance of rain. And we were like, oh no, we should go when it's nice. And now I just thought to myself, oh my gosh, well, the next few days are gonna be really, really hot. So that's gonna be worse. Today it didn't rain, but it was cloudy, so it wasn't that hot. I mean, it was still like 90 degrees, 90 degrees, but 90 versus 95. Wouldn't you rather take 90? So now I'm like, oh darn, we should have gone to the floating market today. And I'm back with round two, I guess. We actually only have like 15 minutes, they said. You get a set amount of time. It took me literally 20 minutes just to figure out the thumbnail and set everything up. Set everything up. So traveling with me is no fun, just like, no. It's a pain, I'm like, okay, it has to look nice. But this is all my sushi. And my soy sauce here. And let's begin. Chives, I mean, um, spring onion, flour, shrimp, fish. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's like a pan fried seafood thing. <laughs> By the way, this cost 400 baht a person, about $12. It's pretty good, the, the place next door was 500 baht, and there's no one sitting there. And there's two reasons, number one, this is 100, no, no, no. They asked if we want beer, if we want salmon sushi. Um, well, as I was saying, yeah, so the place next door, it's identical. It's another Japanese all-you-can-eat sushi place. However, it's 100 baht more expensive, and they don't have the, the little rotator things. They don't have that. I mean, so, it's night and day. This restaurant's very full. The restaurant next to us was completely empty. That's the first one we went to. We're like, oh, there's one here. And then we looked at this one, they're like, oh, this one has the rotator thing. We're like, oh, and then they have a buffet, and it's cheaper. Oh, yes. So they're gonna have to lower their price lower than this. Which might be a big cut for them, but sorry. This is winning, they have a rotator belt, conveyor belt. Fried rice. I'm getting a lot better with my chopsticks, aren't I? These dumplings are just so good. I'm getting full though. Yeah, that's good. I mean, yeah, that's good. So you think? Time us. Huh? You time us here. Yeah. Hurry up, get full. You only have one hour. What was it, an hour and a half? Hour 15. An hour and like 15 minutes. I'm 
really stuffing it in for you guys. Wow. I mean, not for you, for me. <laughs> I'm the one that feels the goodness right now. You guys just have to imagine. Imagine what I feel. I love kimchi. Kimchi's great. I'm so full. You're full? No. There's about five minutes left. Six, seven minutes left. Mm, last seven minutes. What are we gonna do, Sloth fam? What are we gonna do? Ugh. Okay. I know. I'm full. I take that back. Two more bites. Three more bites. I have none. I left one piece. <laughs> I'm happy. And there's a little rice left. Wasn't this exciting? Wasn't this exciting, you guys? Very, very exciting. Mm. Wonderful. Loved it. So much fun. My first sushi conve conveyor belt place. Is he pointing at me? No. They want the. They want something. See what do you do? It goes around the whole restaurant, and everyone. Uh, uh. special treatment here at the market because we buy so much fruit at one time every time they come they pull up chairs for us <laughs> and they pull over the fan and they want us to be comfortable and I was like Orlin why are we getting special treatment he goes because we buy five families worth <laughs> and not only that but here's the thing we like durian very soft and sweet and they can't really sell that everyone here likes it kind of harder crunchier for cooking um, yeah, they don't like it super, super soft, and they can't really sell it. That usually goes in the trash. So they want to, they want to make sure we're happy. So we keep coming back and buying the stuff they usually throw away. We're nice ripe durian. I just picked out about these are ten baht a kilo, which is exactly five cents a pound. No, seven cents a pound. No, fifteen. Cents. <laughs> okay, these are fifteen cents a pound. Fifteen cents a pound. These are papayas. And I bought all of this. Mmm, we are so happy with durian. There's the durian lady, there she is. She cuts it open for people. They're such beautiful, beautiful fruits. Beautiful. Very sharp, very dangerous, but very tasty.